Okay, I look to you is amazingly simple. All right, I almost put it in super easy, but it's in the key of E, which a lot of people don't play in. But other than that, it's really easy, all right? E, of course, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one, which is E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. All right, there's only three chords really to it. It's this chord is the E chord, which is <clears throat> the inversion that they use is G sharp, B, and E. And the bass moves around, but most of the time you stay on that same chord. When you get to your three chord, G sharp, if you any of y'all that know number system, you'll re recognize that it's three chord and number system, which is G sharp, F sharp, B and E. Of course, your one chord would be E, and then your three chord. Now your two chord, which is F uh, sharp minor seventh, F sharp A, C sharp E. That's your two chord. It's also your four chord, right? Now four chord you can either use A major, or you could keep the E in there, which makes it A major ninth. Right, so you could do either that on your four chord, whenever you play A in the bass. And of course your five chord is an eleventh, which is B eleventh. B, A, C sharp, and E. Baby, that's the whole song. If you stop and learn each of those, that's the whole song. Or when I play the song, you'll recognize them all, right? Okay, if you already know those, those are good. But if not, you may have to come back to them. Alright, but uh, I'll, I'll uh, think of this as numbers, right? One chord. Int introduction is first because there's only three parts. Introduction is right. Same chord. Move your bass to eleven, seven, D sharp, C sharp in the bass. Same chord. three chord. So you stayed on the same bass, uh, same chord on those three. It's D sharp in the bass, C sharp in the bass, four. Now sometimes they don't, they don't do a lot of fill-ins on that because Whitney's voice was too weak and tore up so they couldn't overshadow her so they had to stay in the background. But sometimes you, that E will go to D sharp, right? Two chord, remember that two chord? Then back to the three chord again, four chord, five, then after the five, then you take the E to E to E to D sharp, and that's the, that's the verse. Believe it or not, that's also the chord too. I mean the chorus, I look to you. And the chorus, then you go to the bridge. Alright, and um, let's see. Alright. See that same chord? It's just the bass boost. Again. I look to you. See, you want to think of songs as numbers. Don't think of them as a bunch of different keys or it gets confusing. 
always think of it as numbers or as patterns, right? And after a while, you st the more you do that, the more you'll see that all songs this are the same and the same things keep coming over up over and over again. And you start to think like the musicians that can play everything. They can play everything because everything looks familiar. All righty, give me some comments on that and uh, let me know how easy that was. It's not rocket science, all right? And don't just play. Understand. For more songs like that, come and see us on Play By Here, H-E-A-R dot com. Thank you.